Prop Speed, less fuel. Tell us about this prop. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, prop Speed is a special coating for all your underwater metals. So your props, your shafts, struts, rudders, trim tabs, you name it. It won't allow any growth to adhere to it. So you get about a three to five percent fuel burn savings, corrosion protection, and no growth will ever be able to stick to your metal. So you've always got clean running gear. Now, is this an application that you can purchase the product in a marine store? Does it have to go through like a marine fabricator? It's both. You can you can obviously use any yard that you haul out out that's doing your bottom paint. They'll do it for you, or you can go to West Marine and, and buy the product and do it yourself. There's a YouTube great YouTube video on how to apply the product. And you're saying as far as barnacles, it helps anti growth and all that. Yeah, it's a, it's a foul release, so it works because of how the product is so it never allows growth to actually adhere Ever. to the metal. Wow. So it'll clean right off or fall right off. Well, that's cool. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. All right, we're at the Tideline booth at the Annapolis Boat Show, Power Boat Show, with George from Tideline Boats. George, what's new? Oh, our, our 36. The 36. That we're coming out with. Yeah. Wow. Our boat number one is under construction, should be ready in a few weeks. Wow, uh, we're, can't wait we're to really film that. We're really excited about it. And here's the new 235, this boat right here, and we have Sea Trot, it's an absolutely beautiful boat. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the tower that's on this particular 235? Sure, this is what we call our half tower, uh, as opposed to our full tower. The half tower, you can either stand on the console or there's a place for you to sit, and, and where you're sitting, your, your seat is basically the level of a normal T-top, and so it definitely increases your visibility for sight casting. It's sure. especially good for things like cobia fishing, uh, sight casting for big red fish. Big oh, red sure. Drum. Uh, it's perfect offshore and Chesapeake Bay boat. Uh, probably the best boat ever made that does both, both inshore and offshore fishing. Huge fishing platform. Uh, as far as more information about this are the uh, new 36. Uh, log on to TideLineBoats.com, and we'll also be posting some uh, more film about 36 as she gets built. Thanks, George. Thank you, Jim. Great ride up on top. You can see forever. So hey, you, you demo ride the uh, 235, huh? I love the 235. You liked it? Yeah. First time on the tide line. And the Cobia Tower? What do you think? You can see forever up there, and it's, it's awesome. not very rough. No. Oh, no. No. Boat ride good? Great boat ride. Well, what, color, what color are you going to get? You know, you can pick your... <laughs> I'm going to go navy blue. <laughs> navy blue. All right. You need to check out this. I think it's a royal blue that they just did. It's absolutely beautiful. And this power range is from? This actually power range is from 250 to 550, depending on the RPMs. Wow. Um, it's what we were using in the 37 Viking, which is a pair of the 550s. And the 37 Viking that they're building right now. Wow. Can you tell us anything about this gen set over here? This is a, a diesel gen set? Yep, this is our 9KW. This is also going in the uh, 37 Viking. 9KW, it's our uh, three-cylinder Kubota engine. All right. Five-year, 2,000-hour warranty with awesome. the sound shield. Very nice. And this is also Tier 3 now for EPA emissions. Uh, of course, most information you get off the website. Yeah. Off of Cummings. Very good. Yeah. We well, appreciate your time. Cummings.com. Another great new product here in Annapolis. Vicki, tell us all about it. What do you got floating here? Thank you. It's called Yugo Wear. It's the world's first dry bag that uses a diver's dry suit zipper closure. Best thing we ever did because we've been selling 18 months and not one phone fail or leak. It allows you to use the bag while it's in it so you don't worry about rain or going so to So you can from. use your phone and everything? 100%. Right you can even hear really well. You oh, can, you hear it really good. You can submerse it 15 feet below the surface so if you snorkel or in your dinghy, no more worries. And the swimming pool? A swimming pool. Let's hot see tub. that in the water again, just yeah. as it is. Let's see. So there, there you go. You, you can use your phone in the water. That's for any, I guess, phone will fit. Yes, uh, it'll uh, fit up to three phones. Up to three phones. And any size phone. So when you get another phone, you don't have to buy another driver. Wow. And it wow. holds your essential items, safe and sound, your passport, your wallet, your cash. Now, is that waterproof also? 100% because the zipper is airtight and waterproof. Well, that is a tremendous handy bag to have for any boater or anybody around the water. They come in different colors. colors. The black, the bright orange, and then the blue. You can wear it several ways. You can cross it. Oh, look at this. It's a fashion statement also. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so uh, do you have a website people can go to? Yes, yougowear.com. 
Yougoware.com. Okay, Correct. very good. Well, that's just that's a really cool product. Very well, thank you. We appreciate it. Now, this is definitely something new. Inflatable power boards, right? Paddle boards, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We do have an inflatable paddle boards. They're only 15 PSI. That's all it takes for inflatable. Wow, that's incredible. Now I can yeah. see how hard that is. That's that's yeah. pretty stable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you can put up to ours, you can put up to 350 pounds on them. And that's with no cracks, no things, no need for rack, no need for storage. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Where are y'all out of? St. Petersburg, Florida. Yeah. That's totally cool. And look yeah. at all these different models. Wow. The bigger you go, the wider they get, the more stable they're going to be. Inflatable paddle boards. Well, I've seen it all now. That is just so cool. And y'all got a website? You do? We do. It's called caribesup.com. So it's C A R I B E S U P.com. Well, that's a great new product. Thanks, yeah. man. Thank you. Hey, this is Wes with Seasucker here at the Annapolis Boat Show 2017. I wanted to introduce you all to Seasucker, show you what our product is all about. We make vacuum mount marine accessories. That's the basis of our product. What it is, cool. is a vacuum mount. It's not a suction cup. There's a plunger. And what I'm doing right now by pumping is I'm evacuating the air from underneath this cup. Right. So as I pump, you'll see the cup start to flatten out. And the orange will slowly disappear. That okay. lets you know you're at 100% vacuum strength. So you're never left guessing like you are with a suction cup. And sure, you, you know, you can see it. About it just falling off randomly. So once this seal is disappeared, you know you're at 100%. There's no way in the world this could ever no, come off of the surface. Even a five foot Chesapeake Bay Sea, it's not going to come out. That's right. It? You don't never have to worry about that. And these are some applications here for like. Uh... All types of applications. Anything you can think of as a want or need on your boat, we have it. We've got rod holders, cup holders, we have electronic mounts like this. Sure, iPad for your tablet, right whether here. you're using it for GPS or phone, for whatever. We, got, wow. we have phone, tablet. Um, GoPro, you name it, one of our most popular products in the last six months has actually been our waistband. Huh. Our trash is always an issue on the boat. Where do, where do I put the trash? Do I put it in the live well? Do I get it all sticky at the bottom? Am I reaching down at the end of the trip to try and get stuff? Our trash, our waistbands right here, super popular, super easy. Any, now, any bag. Are there any materials that this, just so the folks will know, that it will not stick to? Will it stick like aluminum or anything? So it needs to be, it needs to be smooth and it needs to be non-porous. So, smooth and non-porous. That's it. Yeah. So like drywall, wood, fiberglass is all perfect. It's not going to work, but yeah, fiberglass, any type of glass. Um, sure. Steel, any, really any surface is smooth and non-porous. Well, this is a really, this is a really cool product and probably also good for like you know even recreational vehicles uh, home use you know for like if you want oh, to put something if you're if you're doing you know camping or you can get an RV um, this is nice our electronic products because they transfer over from the boat to home so after exactly. you're done on the water you rip them off the boat now you're following a recipe on your island uh, your kids are watching a movie in the back seat of your car uh, That's so, so cool. it's really an everyday lifestyle product well we appreciate your time and seasucker.com Seasucker.com. Come and check out all of our products. We've got tons of them on there. Okay, a very interesting what's new uh, feature here at the show, uh, propane outboards. Hi, welcome to the Indianapolis Boat Show. I'm Marty Lostrom with Scandia Marine Center, and we are the local dealer for Lear engines. They are propane outboard engines. Truly a propane outboard engine. They are not a refit or a redesign, but this is a patented product. It's been on the market since 2012. Lear is a company out of California that was uh, formerly for about 25 years making lawn equipment. So we, uh, we wow. rackers, leaf blowers, and the owner of the company was a boater, and he wanted to have a green friendly engine. And he thought of propane to do that he actually designed it and built it isn't that pretty cool that is amazing and one of these now we used to have these propane canisters these look very similar to the ones we'd have on our little boat grills mm -hmm. you know right. to cook with on saturday nights how long will this now how, how big is this engine how powerful this is particular it? engine is a 2.5 we go up to a 25 horsepower so we have a 2.5 a 5 a 9.9 .9, a 15 and a 25 and a 25 the 2.5 and the 5 run off of the one pound coleman camping canister and at full throttle will go one hour at three quarters throttle which is closer to the actual use time will go two and a half hours wow wow that is absolutely this incredible. is ideal for a dinghy situation oh a situation sure situation with kids where you don't want to worry about having to teach them about choke and primers or worried about the volatility of gasoline. Propane wow. is actually much safer than gasoline.
gasoline because it's less volatile, especially in the smaller quantities. If you did want to run this engine off of a, lar a longer distance or uh, for a longer period of time, it does come with a hose that it can attach to any kind of propane tank. Or if just you're like not your using tank. your grill, you know, your gas grill, you exactly. can come over and you run it. That is incredible. And for more information, because a lot of people will be interested in this uh, website they can go to? They can go to Lear's website, which is um, www.golear.com or our website, scandiamarinecenter.com here in Annapolis. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Have a great show. You too. There's between a vacuum flush and a standard macerator. So for the public that doesn't know much about boating marine heads. Sure. Um, the medic has both macerating and vacuum flush toilets. So we can handle whatever boat you have, whether you have a 30-footer or up to a 60-footer. The macerating toilet uses a little more water, a little more power, and okay. can use fresh or salt water for the flushing action. Okay. And that makes a, it's a great option for certain boats. Our focus is on vacuum toilets, and the benefit of the vacuum toilets is very little power, very little water, and fresh water, no odor. So we guarantee gotcha. there's no odor in the head area from okay. your vacuum flush toilet. We're at northeastsanitation.com. We're the East Coast distributor for vacuum flush and master flush toilets for Dometic. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. Okay, what's new? What you got here? Check it out, guys. This is the air chair. Usually, you need an inflate. Uh, uh, you need a pump to inflate an inflatable. Not anymore. It's as simple as trapping the air and closing it. And as you can see, folks, I have to run around like a crazy person trying to fill this thing up. Flip it over to the second side. What's really cool is if you're on a boat, a seven mile per hour wind will fill it up for you automatically. <laughs> so whether you're at the beach in Hawaii or in the comfort of your own home, it shouldn't take you more than 20 seconds. Look, we're already done. You're going to roll it up like a dry bag, clip it into place, sir. Would you like to give it a try? Uh, no, I'm fine. But let's see you sit in it. Let's see you sit in it. Get on in here, sir. Please get your butt right here in the center. Your butt goes right in the middle. You kick your feet up, you lean back. Oh, there you go. What's new in the marine industry? How about some awesome new bicycles? Hi, uh, I'm Ken. Uh, I'm from Solar Rock Sports. We make all aluminum folding uh, bikes. Uh, we have the largest variety of folding bikes in uh, North America. Wow. Almost 22 different brands and models with various uh, features. So uh, all bikes are all aluminum, anti-rust. They're all weatherized for uh, the boat. I've got them going down from the smallest size for an adult of a 14-inch wheelbase bike. Uh, 14 inch wheelbase bikes that are electric and uh, and then I've got 16 inch wheels, 20 awesome. inch wheels. Yeah. It's, These are great for power boats, sailboats. Great for power boats, sailboats. RVs. RVs. They will fit into any any uh, uh, boat that you have. And uh, what's the price range on these from uh, bargain basement to the most expensive? Well, for aluminum folding bikes, uh, you're looking at anywhere from about two and a quarter to uh, to about a thousand dollars. Okay, anywhere in there. Yeah, and a, a lot of these bikes are a third or half the price uh, of the competitive bike and have enhanced details. What's so, your website? Where we get some information on Website, this? you can go to uh, uh, www.solorock.us uh, uh, you know, uh, or you can go to uh, www.green-cruiser.com. Well, these are certainly some very well-built bikes, for oh, sure. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. And the last two layers are titanium. Same wow. metal that hip replacements, re, you know, so there's no toxicity at all. It's what the surgeons use. And I can put cheese directly in the pan. And of course, most And people, it's not going to stick. And it's not going to stick. So you're going to do a little light omelet? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, look. <laughs> Beautiful. Sticks to the stainless, but not to the titanium. You put a lid on it, and you can cook your vegetables without Steam water. It. Let me first put the egg in there. <laughs> It's also a waterless cooker. I also boil eggs without water because eggs are porous. So when you boil it in water, some of that goodness comes out. That's right. You don't want the goodness to come out. That's it. I lived on a boat for six years, always cooked on the boat and all. And you're, you're exactly right. When the small burners, it gets too hot in the middle. And yeah. this is a perfect solution. Exactly. Boaters will love it. Yep. Hey, well, thanks so much for your time. Great product. And we'll, we'll visit you on the web. OK, thank you. Thanks for your time.
Oh, so yeah, the legendary painkiller. You start with uh, glass ice. Ice, ice. 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 okay. Here's the recipe. And the recipe's right there on the cup. On the cup. Basically, it's pussers, and you pre-mix what? Pineapple. Orange juice. Pineapple, orange juice. Cream of coconut. Cream of coconut. And, and a, little bit, a little bit of nutmeg, and that's basically it. And a cherry. And a cherry. And an orange. And the ratio typically is what? Uh, four, two, one, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Okay, yeah. excellent. Well, hold that up to get a picture. Well, that's that's one legendary pusters right here. Do you have the cups so you can show us what the cups look like too? Sure. That's it right there. Well, thank y'all so much. We appreciate it. Have a great day.